Good morning. Welcome, everyone. We're so excited that you guys get to receive your first communion today. It's been a long preparation for you. What is our dearest wish? To what lengths would we go to make it come true? These are questions upon which we reflect in our Mass today. Let our deepest desire be for God and for the treasure of God's love. Please stand. We've been waiting for this day. I have been, and I think a lot of you have been also. So finally we are here. So let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we come together, knowing that God is here with us, let us for a moment remember that we need God in our life, and especially to remember God forgives any sins or failings that we have. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you, as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast, even now, to those that ever endure. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me, and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me, your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now, and after you there will come no one equal to you. The word of the Lord. Lord, I love your commands. I have said, O Lord, that my part is to keep your words. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Lord, I love your commands. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Lord, I love your commands. For I love your commands more than gold, however fine. For in all your precepts I go forward, every false way I hate. Lord, I love your commands. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Lord, I love your commands. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God 
who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells what he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Each of us does have a search and a desire for something deeper in our life and I like to call it God. And I think what uh, this day maybe proves to us is a couple of things, is that sometimes in our search we wait and we long. It doesn't seem to come fast enough. It's kind of happening in our world right now where we have this virus and we are kind of waiting and we are longing for it to be over. Sometimes we want it to be a quick fix, and we wait. And many of you children have been waiting. We were supposed to have communion a couple of months ago, and now here we are at the end of July, and you've been waiting. And there's something about the waiting that's not all bad, sometimes hard to wait, but when we wait, then the anticipation grows, and when the gift comes, it's greater. So the other thing that I believe is a part of this is that it, that search and that desire doesn't end today because uh, you receive Jesus today, but then somehow we have to do it again because we live lives and we go home and do different things and we kind of forget about God. And then we are reminded, no, I still need God in my life. And I need to come back again to receive communion or just to pray and whatever. So a couple of those big things I think for our life is uh, we wait sometimes, not easy, and we keep looking, we keep searching again and again for his presence. That's my prayer for you today, each of you, those who receive communion the first time and the rest of us who have received many times. Let us be open to the search and trust where it leads us. We offer our prayers. Well, let me read the the real beginning here, it's better. Lord speaks to us as he spoke to King Solomon. Ask what you would like me to give you. In prayer, let us come to him and seek the hidden treasure, the pearl of the kingdom. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For confidence in God's love for each of us, that we may rely upon God's generous love to sustain us and bring good out of all the experiences of our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of Congress, 
that God will break through the mistrust that has developed and guide them in developing effective laws to assist the unemployed and those suffering from the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are searching for meaning, that God will guide their search, grant healing to those who are wounded, lead them to a new understanding, and help them encounter a community where the gospel is lived. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all parents, that God will guide them in nurturing their children and give them insight as they ponder options for the coming school year. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of provident love, you call your people into your kingdom. You make all things work to their good. We are confident that you hear our prayers and that you will grant our requests. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal Mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, the bless, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. We pray together as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Please share a sign of peace as you are, as you are able. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Sneal. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. All right, at this time, the first communicants will be receiving from Father John on the star here, and the rest of the family is able to receive after the final blessing. And we changed it up a little bit uh, from the email that you guys got from me. I will be calling the first communicants up one by one, and so the ones that are in the wings here, if you want to walk up front across when I call your name, receive from Father John, and then walk back the same way. And then the ones in these two middle sections here, I'll have you come up the main aisle when I say your name, and then you'll walk around the front 
and go in on the other side of the pew. Andrew Giebel. Stephen Giebel. Evelyn Schaefer. Beckett Carter. Alonzo Reyes. Liam Vasquez, Francis Beer, Bryn Dykey, Levi Olson, Caden Lamp. Malish Singankuti, Logan Gonzalez, Jackson Davis, Brock Mikiel, Tenley Stallo. Cole Schweiss, Leighton Smith, Greta Steffel, Let us pray. We desire to receive you, O Lord, in this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with the love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.